This is Justin Oberman from Infonaut Marshall, and this episode we're going to be taking a look at the ShamWow. According to the infomercial, the ShamWow is a super absorbent towel that can hold a surprising amount of liquid without even dripping. In fact, the colorfully animated Vince informs us that You'll be saying wow every time. Vince goes on to show us some pretty hard to believe uses of the ShamWow, including sopping up carpet spills usually reserved for wet dry vacs. Seems like a pretty amazing product, but how does it really perform? Stick around and we'll see if you'll really be saying wow every time. One of the first things that we see in the ShamWow commercial is the ShamWow absorbing a, an entire cup of water. What we're going to do is we're going to see if it works like it does in the infomercial. I got to admit, the first time I saw that, I actually said wow, because I'm lifting it up here, it absorbed all the water, and it's not dripping. With that amount of water, a cup full of water, the ShamWow didn't drip. Well, now my question is, how much can the ShamWow hold before it actually starts dripping? So I'm going to put in two cups of water and put it in. Already with two cups of water, we have drip. So now let's see how the ShamWow compares to a paper towel. We found that it took 12 regular paper towels to absorb the same amount of water that ShamWow could absorb in this container. And as an after the fact, the paper towels began to drip a little bit. One of the most amazing things that Vince shows us in the infomercial is when he takes cola and pours it on top of a carpet and then shows how ShamWow will absorb the liquid that gets trapped underneath the carpet and the surface. So let's take a look at that and see how it works. In the infomercial, he uses cola. We're just going to use regular water here. Now we see the top here is completely drenched. It's wet. We're going to look underneath. It's wet as well. Now what we're going to do is, like he does it in the infomercial, we're going to pat it down. We're going to let it absorb on top here. I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to do it again. Pat it down get all of it, roll it up, and get even more liquid this time. I'll tell you one thing, I'm feeling the top of the carpet. It's pretty dry. And let's take a look underneath. Still wet, but better than I thought it was going to be. Now one thing to consider, in the infomercial and, and, and this experiment right here, all we have is a carpet that's on top of a tabletop surface. Now most people have paddings underneath their carpet and most likely the, the padding is going to absorb a lot of the liquid itself, which means that it's going to be really hard for the ShamWow to remove that mildew and extra smell that it claims it's going to do. Another interesting thing about the carpet test in the ShamWow infomercial is that if you look carefully, there seems to be some trick photography involved. When he pours the water on top of the carpet, you'll see that the puddle underneath uh, extends outside of the carpet a bit. But when the camera cuts, that puddle is gone. That looks a little bit fishy to me. So one of the things we found here is actually that the ShamWow is very good at quickly cleaning up spills that a regular towel can't handle. What I liked about the ShamWow is that as I was swiping the water uh, against the table, it wasn't pushing the water off of the table, but was instead actually sucking it backwards, absorbing it into the towel. Whereas when I used the towel and I started pushing against the water, it actually started pushing some of the water off of the surface. They send you two different ShamWows. They send you a small blue one and a larger orange one. The light blue ones don't work as well as the orange ones. They still get the job done, but if I were to actually use one in the spill, I would definitely be reaching for one of the larger orange ones. Now one of the things that we noticed through the course of this shoot is that the ShamWow takes a very long time to dry. In fact, we had to use three ShamWows during the course of this shoot in order to just do all of the tests. Now they say that you could take the ShamWow and put it and clean it in the washing machine, but you can't put it in a dryer, which means until the ShamWow dries, you're going to have a wet towel lying around at all times. Now, that might actually be a good thing because we found that the ShamWow actually works better when it starts off a little bit wet. But then we're concerned that keeping a wet ShamWow around the kitchen might cause mold and mildew to build up. In summary, here are the pros. The ShamWow holds as much water as 12 paper towels. Machine washable, it works when still a bit wet, and it doesn't drip under moderate amounts of water. And the final pro, it's very good at quickly absorbing spills on a flat surface. Now some of the cons of ShamWow, it takes a very long time to dry on its own, and you can't use it in the dryer. It doesn't work as well when it's actually dry. 
After two cups of water, the ShamWow will begin to drip, and the small blue ones are misleading and not very different than average towels. Bottom line, we found that the ShamWow did work for specific things, but not for all of the claims made in the infomercial. It did make cleaning flat surfaces easier, but it still takes a long time to manually dry. Were we saying wow every time? Sometimes we were just saying sham, eh. Be sure to check out our other reviews at infonotmercial.com.